Hey, 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 it's probably already back in Red Dead Online and hey, I'm sorry I haven't been on lately and uh, I've just been trying to, well first I've been busy, secondly I've been trying to figure out how all these pursuit roles operate, you know, the frontier pursuits, so and it's been a couple days, I've been trying to do the bounty hunting stuff. You don't need an explanation on the bounty hunting stuff, but let me get to why I'm talking to you now about the training company. How it works, you know, where you should set up your camp to get the most amount of bang for your buck. Now, if any of you have played GT Online and have experimented with the biker businesses bunker so on and so forth this will be very familiar it's basically pretty much a, a copy and paste but with some differences now the best spot that I can find is right there Brandywine Drop that's in Road Nook Ridge north of Ennisburg well why Annisburg? What's so special about Roanoke Ridge? It's because here's the deal. When you're setting up your camp, you know, the Crips Trading Company, you have different things to keep in mind. <clears throat> Much like the biker businesses in GTA Online, they work pretty similarly. You have supplies, so you have materials. You need to keep supplies and materials flowing to make goods that Crips does so you can go ahead and do a delivery to make money for XP and so on and so forth. Now, materials go by pretty quick and there's a, a few things that, that may be confusing to you if you're not paying attention one thing to keep in mind is that supplies are not included with materials okay so that's your that's the first thing I want to tell you right now so the supplies are actually included under the operational tab also when you're going around collecting materials that's animal carcasses and stuff do not skin them do not do anything like that it's just much much faster and easier if you just sell them the whole carcass but then again it, it's up to your preference how fast or slow however you want to do to keep your supplies moving keeping them going so for instance pelts big pelts animal carcasses whole or animal carcasses are pretty much the way I went now you can go ahead and skin pronghorn skin whitetail skin you know the stowable pelts and keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it but these materials and supplies go so fast that it's hard to keep up You're pretty much breaking even every time so let me show you what I'm talking about, all right? So here we go. So go ahead, walk up to Crips and see what's going on. So as you can see, we have three different tabs from the Crips Training Company menu. Materials, Production, and Goods. The Protection has halted. Now why? Well, it's because supplies are included under that production tab. Whereas materials are, well, materials. But unlike how the biker and bunker passive business methods worked in GTA Online, you can't just order supplies and just sit back and relax. You actually have to take part in gathering materials, which means you have to go hunting. If you're not a hunting person, I can understand that that can be a drag. I understand. But here's the thing. Okay? 
there are several locations on the map to make hunting as painless as possible. This location here where I'm at is on the ridge, on the far north side of Roanoke Ridge by the river charts where you see this waterfall and Brandywine drop. That's pretty much one of the best and I know there are other locations out there will suit the needs wherever you are. But for this one right here, Brandywine Drop, Roanoke Ridge, and New Hanover north of Ennisburg is a very good bet. There are deer, there are elk, there are moose, fox, coyotes, you name it. It's pretty much there. And because your camp is so close, it's really easy to, to grab a deer and put it on the back of your horse, kill another deer, and just run 10 feet, you know, and deliver the camp, and there you go. You have a pretty much rotating spawn of plentiful animals in and around, it just, they keep coming. And since your camp is so close, donating materials isn't, you know, you ain't gonna go way the fuck out and out yonder and then come back and, oh, well, by the time you come back, your materials or supplies are pretty much depleted and now you're like, oh my god, I'm never gonna get anywhere. So that will lighten the load. So, to recap, alright, so let's recap here. How the training company works. Pretty similar to the passive business making methods from GTA. One of the slight differences again is that supplies and materials are separate. You can't order supplies and expect materials to be included in that. It's just there are two different entities. One you actually have to go out and do. It's pretty much a hybrid. And if you have done, you know, special cargo crates or the hanger stuff or the vehicle cargo stuff, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's how the training company works and I've given you a couple locations on where the best hunting grounds can be and how your camp is situated around red than a line again chola springs outside tumbleweed to the east side of the railroad tracks that's a good spot pronghorn ram collar peccaries wild boar cooters condor flying up ahead and anyway, those those are pretty much two places that i know that have worked for me in the past and still do so yeah and within no time as long as you have your supplies up you have your materials up you can do small deliveries. You get 200, 250 Ed Speed for the trader. And you can level up pretty much like a split. So, yeah. You know. So, if you were having trouble and you needed some suggestions and so on and so forth, and I hope this has helped you out. You know, if I helped at least one person, that would make all the difference in my head. You know, it doesn't matter who I help as long as it helps somebody. So, again, it's been primed and ready. And I'll see you back on Red Down Line. Hopefully very soon. So, have a good one, guys. I'll talk to you all later.